What's up, everybody? Professional wrestler Chris Wild here. Um, sorry about the uh, setting. I'm in my car right now, about to go into the uh, the gym here in Dover, Delaware. And we're probably going to get a lot of videos like this um, because I want to kind of capture my instant reaction and emotion to some of the things that are going on. Obviously, free agency officially started today at 4 o'clock. Um, have been waiting for Howie to do something. Uh, was hoping that he would address the running back situation. <clears throat> and my my big get, and if you look at my videos, the guy that I wanted was Tevin Coleman, number 26 from uh, the Atlanta Falcons. Um Young guy, uh, explosive, hasn't doesn't have much wear and tear on him because he's been splitting carries with Devonte Freeman. Um, Twenty six years old, so I've been waiting, and I thought to myself when I saw Mark Ingram go to the Ravens, I said, okay, how he's working something out for Tevin Coleman. They're working out a deal. I've been following Twitter. It kind of looked like it was going that way. Uh, waiting, 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 waiting. waiting. And uh, right now, about nine minutes ago, I'm um, listening to WIP, and I hear that Tevin Coleman signed with the San Francisco 49ers two years, $10 million. You've got to be fucking kidding me. We couldn't come up with we couldn't come up with a deal better than five million a year. It's unbelievable to me. We got Nelson Aguilar, who I do want back, but we got Nelson Aguilar making $9 million this year. They need, are they going to rework that? Or, I mean, you couldn't get Tevin Coleman for the price that the 49ers got Tevin Coleman? Doesn't make sense to me. And now if, if I hear, or I read one more thing about, oh, we can sign TJ Yeldon, we can sign Spencer Ware. I don't want either one of those scrubs on my team. If we sign TJ Yeldon or Spencer Ware, my freaking head will explode. It will absolutely explode, and I'll videotape it. Let, TJ Yeldon is a guy that's always hurt. Leonard Fournette was out most of the year last year. Yeldon didn't do shit. He didn't do anything. Uh, Spencer Ware, same thing. Kareem Hunt gets suspended, uh, hits a, a woman, does something ridiculous. And what did Spencer Ware do? Nothing. He didn't do anything on a Kansas City team that was scoring points at will. Uh, it just... And I don't want to hear the thing, oh, well, Andy Reid doesn't like to run the ball. I don't want to hear that. I just, I don't want either one of these guys. I don't want Jerick McKinnon when he gets let go from the 49ers. I don't want guys that other teams don't want. I heard the radio station talking about Isaiah Crowell. Is that somebody that you really want on this team? You're trying to get back to a Super Bowl? Isaiah Crowell? Really? I mean, when I think of these these names, I just think of trash. I think of garbage. I'm not, I, I want, uh... I, and I know Tevin Coleman's not like the second coming of Walter Payton or Barry Sanders or shit, even Ricky Waters. But he, this is a guy that could be a stud. This is a guy that fits the offense. Like I said, young and explosive, you can build around. You can build with Corey Clement and get maybe a vet uh, later. They're definitely going to get a running back in the draft this year. Um, we all know that they're not good at drafting running backs. Hopefully they have to hit on it this year. You can't afford to get another Donnell Pumphrey. Um in here, fourth round selection, but the, you get Tevin Coleman, you can build around him, and then the offense with the guys that they have in at receiver, the money that they're spending at receiver, running back has got to be a priority, you need to get Carson Wentz a running game, I'm not going to rely on a rookie, uh, if they get um, Josh Jacobs from Alabama, like, I'm not going to rely on him to be my lead back right away, This th there is no Saquon Barkley in this draft, I mean, oh my god. I, I just can't believe that they missed out on a guy for, for the money that San Francisco is paying. I mean, it's pocket change. It really is pocket change right now. Uh, it's it's just unbelievable to me. The only thing, the only hope that I have is that Howie Roseman has something working right now. The only thing, the hope that I have, and I, my the video got messed up because somebody called me. That's the most annoying thing. But the only thing I can think is Howie Roseman has something going right now. Uh, some kind of trade. I'm, again, Jordan Howard's another dude that I want. Again, another fit for this offense. Um, maybe he's going to trade for him. Maybe it'll be a trade out of nowhere for a guy. But please do not, do not think that I'm going to be cool with TJ Eldon Spencer Ware. Uh, not, not in the least. And, and Ajay Ajayi, 
nice player, but he's he's got two bad knees. He just tore the ACL on the other knee. That's not the solution either. That's another guy that I've a vet a vet that you can put into the cheap on the cheap with with another set of guys. But come on, man. I, I don't want to see some uh, Wendell Smallwood. Uh, running on this team next year. Uh, Josh Adams is a nice guy, but he's just a guy. Please, Howie, do something um, and do it soon, man, because my anxiety is through the roof right now with uh, this running back situation. Uh, it's I'm not even going to get into linebacker on this video. but So that's it. Tevin Coleman off the board. Mark Ingram off the board. Um, really, there's no free agent back. Uh, that you can really sign that's going to make a big difference on this team right now. So it's got to be done during a trade, and, and who knows if that's going to happen. So, I mean, I don't know, Eagle fans. Um, uh, hopefully Howie Roseman knows what he's doing. I'm going to go get a workout in, let some of this frustration out in there. Uh, hopefully I'm back with some good news the next time you guys see me. Go Birds.